I call this the transparent flexible Christmas tree. When you go to Google and search for flexible circuit boards, one of the things that pops up are transparent PCBs. These are not that popular, so I reach to my favorite PCB manufacturer and ask for some special samples. So Christmas came a little early this year. I can literally see through it. As a first sample, I had to get a flexor actuator. It looks so futuristic and this way, we can also benchmark it with the original version. Like I already said, these transparent PCBs are not that popular and there's a specific reason for that. According to the information I got from PCBWay, this see-through PCB is covered in PET, while the normal flexible one is polyamide. This restricted them to make the PCB slightly thicker, which also affected the actuator's stiffness. But more importantly, this material is rated at a much lower temperature. This is what happened when I heated the boards at 270 degrees Celsius. The plastic totally started melting, but this was totally my fault because PCBWay had warned me not to go above 100 degrees Celsius. I decided to test under two samples with this 100 degrees Celsius limit and everything seemed to be okay. So I then went up to 165 degrees Celsius, which is probably the lowest temperature solar paste can reflow at. And this test also seemed to pass. The plastic deformation started happening around 215 degrees Celsius because the coil area started bending from the edges and the surface also got wrinkly. Soldering the pads directly done minor damage, which was impressive because the tip was at around 300 degrees Celsius. I also found that the coil's DC resistance had increased. This variation might have happened because part of the transparent PCB had inconsistent copper width. Okay, so now that we know all the limitations of this transparent material, I think it's time to design something that is a little bit more fun. I was thinking of doing something that is a little bit more Christmas oriented. Here's my idea. Make a spiral flexible PCB that unfolds into a Christmas tree. It will have 48 LEDs that are divided into 4 groups and switched by these angel MOSFETs. This Jolly Christmas tree was designed using Altium Designer, which is the industry standard software for PCB design. It allows you to design any circuit that you dream about, without any mechanical restrictions on the shape. In my case, I designed a 2-dimensional spiral flex PCB that should unfold into a 3-dimensional Christmas tree. You can use my link in the description to get a free version of Altium. I managed to design this PCB in just 4 hours, so please excuse my poor efforts. I was kind of in a hurry to place the order so that it can arrive by Christmas. I also had to favor aesthetics over engineering. As you can see I didn't include any power planes or stiffeners. There's also some other bad practices like the single vias which will pass around 240 milliamps each. The single vias will still work for this prototype and keep our PCB see-through. But if I had to design this professionally they must be connected to their own power planes and stitched to the second layer with some vias. So this is very bad engineering, but I wanted to get the utmost of this transparent material. Now the original plan was to hand solder this PCB, but plastic started deforming easier than I thought. Luckily, I received a sample of the low temperature solder paste, which made soldering this PCB possible. The only screw up was that I didn't get a stencil, which made things look messy. So I have flashed this dummy software that goes through all the MOSFET combinations one by one every 100 milliseconds and all the LEDs are now blinking. Here we have some orange, green, blue and red LEDs and one white LED at the top. As expected these are not switching with the same brightness but this makes for a nice Christmas tree look. Now let's see how it unfolds. 
Happy Christmas, I guess. I 3D printed this stand, but it's kind of too short for it. I think it would have been a little bit prettier if the base was a little bit wider, but it's still cool. If you enjoyed watching this project, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It was really fun making this Christmas tree, and who knows, maybe next Christmas we'll do a fully RGB addressable one. For now that's it, happy Christmas, and I will see you next year. That is so freaking cool. I have to get some stretchable circuit samples.